Eggs. As a nation, we currently eat 28 million of them a day. Despite that, it's one of the lowest intakes in the world, which could be down to the misconception they raise our cholesterol. Research published in the European Journal of Nutrition this week has finally cracked the myth surrounding eggs and cholesterol. So I've come here to Surrey University to meet Dr. Bruce Griffin, the man behind the study. We took a group of normal healthy male volunteers and we put them on a calorie controlled diet to make them lose weight. We subdivided the group into one group that we were instructed to eat two eggs a day for 12 weeks and another group who were told to exclude eggs from their diet. We then monitored them at 6 and 12 weeks and measured their blood cholesterol and we found in the group who had been consuming the eggs, the two eggs a day, there was no increase in LDL, that's the bad cholesterol in the blood and in fact if they were actively losing weight their cholesterol had actually gone down in their blood. There's a great deal of mythology surrounding the relationship or non-relationship really between dietary cholesterol that we consume in eggs and things like shellfish and some offal and blood cholesterol and that this should lead to coronary heart disease in some way. There's just not the scientific evidence to support that theory. In actual fact, the real culprit in our diet isn't the milligram quantities of dietary cholesterol that we uh, consume. It's the gram quantities of saturated fat that we find in such foods as pies and pastries and processed meats. These are really to be outlawed in terms of cholesterol. For example, uh, a sausage contains uh, 100 times the, the weight of saturated fat as compared to the amount of cholesterol in an egg. This gives it five to six times the cholesterol raising potential or potential to raise blood cholesterol. So it's really saturated fat that we should be trying to remove from our diet. And for most people we shouldn't be worrying about the uh, amounts of, of cholesterol or worrying about egg consumption because of their cholesterol content. Neither Food Standards Agency or the British Dietetic Association place any recommendation at all on the amount of eggs that we should eat each week. So it seems that healthcare professionals may be giving us out-of-date advice when they tell us to cut back on eggs.